Welcome fellow artists to Art with Errol episode one. Today, we're gonna draw Mighty Mouse. Yes, Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse was a cartoon from the 60s by Terry Toons. It also was a comic book, I believe. Um, I would like to draw Mighty Mouse because I remember watching some of the cartoons as a kid and I think it will be quite fun. So grab your art supplies and let's get to it. All right, let's get started. First, we're gonna do a sketch of Mighty Mouse before we put it on our canvas. And I would like you to draw your own version of Mighty Mouse, whatever you feel that you would like to change or add or position him, however. Uh, but I wanna do a flying forward version of Mighty Mouse. So we're going to start by doing a sketch and then we're going to put it onto a canvas. All right, so I'm getting started here with uh, the sketch of Mighty Mouse and I'm using a uh, pencil color. So I like to do my sketches with uh, yellow and blue pencil color. Um, that helps me to refine what I'm doing as I go along and I can change it up as I go. So I would recommend, you know, uh, trying this method out um, for your drawings. Um, definitely uh, it helps you get uh, to where you want to go without you know doing a whole bunch of uh, sketches on different pages of uh, pencil because uh, once you know you do a bunch of dark pencil lines it's kind of hard to uh, not just re-erase but uh, messes up the paper sometimes so uh, you may or may not be able to see it very well, but uh, once I get to the blue pencil color, uh, you'll be able to see exactly how I'm doing uh, Mighty Mouse here. So here we go, uh, breaking out the blue pencil color. And you should be able to see the yellow once uh, I get the uh, sketch going here. <laughs> And I said I wanted to do a uh, more forward-facing Mighty Mouse um, earlier. Um, I had it more going upright uh, instead of more forward as I really wanted to do uh, a more dynamic picture of him flying towards you. Uh, but it's okay. Uh, at the end, uh, I really like the way it came out. Um, so. Uh, for Mighty Mouse, uh, there's a bunch of Google images, and they have a few that like you know put the M on his chest, uh, different methods. Uh, so I decided to just use the M from the name. Uh, I've seen uh, some versions of Mighty Mouse where he has a M and a circle around it, uh, orange circle around it. Um, but yeah, so I'm doing my own version. I hope you're doing your own version as you're following along. Um, and also, uh, you know, Google Mighty Mouse gets you some references so that you can uh, follow along either with the video uh, or, uh, you know, just so you can do your position for your artwork. Um, hope that you're doing a different version. I would like you to do your own and then post it later, like I said, in the video. So here is where we transfer to the canvas. And I had already started with the yellow. Uh, the camera wasn't recording. I had a mistake there. I think I had two mistakes here um, where the camera cut out on me and I uh, didn't know it. <laughs> Uh, so I had already did the yellow, so I'm working in uh, blue. And I do the same method when uh, I do my sketch on paper, and then I put it the same way on the canvas. The uh, thing about the pencil color is it really won't show in the final product because uh, I am going to use paint. I'm going to use a combination of marker and paint. Um, so I'm going to work this whole body here to try to get the right form that I want. Uh, in the previous sketch, uh, I had his hand blocking his face a little bit more, so I 
in this version uh, on the canvas, I moved his fist a little bit so that you can get a little bit more of his face. Um, you'll notice the, those differences. And also, I also modified his chest a little bit and I think his legs a little bit in the uh, final canvas piece. Yep, so I'm uh, bringing out his fist here. Uh, as you can see, uh, his eyes poking out a little bit more, so it's not exactly right in the front of his face. It's a little bit off to the side. I end up having to make this a speed drawing just because it's just uh, too long. Didn't realize how long I was working uh, and didn't want the video to be too, too long. So and you can see I'm bringing him out now. Uh, got his arm in, working his ears now. After I'm done with the blue pencil color, I will move to pencil. Um, so I just keep layering it over and over. So I'll go from yellow to blue to pencil color. And then I will go finally to marker. Um, and then to paint. One of the biggest things is just to have fun with your drawing, you know, don't worry about mistakes. Um, I think if you follow this method, uh, if you do make mistakes, you can easily correct them when you're, you know, you know, you got the blue or the light blue pencil color. It's not going to show up in the final picture. Uh, so you can modify as you go. Um, the same with the yellow. The yellow's not going to really show in the end. You just use the S guides to put it down. I kept reshaping this uh, leg here. And, uh, at the end, it, it came out looking really good, but uh, I was a little struggling to get that leg the way I wanted it to. Uh, hmm. Here I'm working his other hand. See me reshaping the chest again. And I am looking off to the side. See, I have a uh, that picture you saw in the beginning I have that picture of Mighty Mouse there so I can have like a guide and uh, I was using the uh, letters from the uh, the name there to kind of do my M um, it's going in that that style so 
So you see I reshaped the knee again, um, the knee and the thigh there. And you know, here I'm shaping the cape to the way I would like the cape to be flapping. <clears throat> and there I'm reshaping the foot. So I do a lot of reshaping as, as I go along and just keep building up my uh, my drawing here. So I get the form the way I, I really want it. See, I'm bringing uh, other aspects back out. Eyes, brows, jaw. Um, filling the teeth. Yeah, and uh, that's shaping up really nice the way uh, the way I was wanting it to uh, to go. So here I go with the pencil, <clears throat> and I'll start to refine everything even more with the pencil. Um, and the blue lines are uh, are just a guide, you know. I'll use those. Uh, for the most part, but I will go in and out of those lines, just shaping it the way that I see is going to be best for my drawing. And here, when you're doing it with the pencil, you'll see it really start to come to life. <laughs> Throwing in the little uh, eyelashes he has there. Yeah. <clears throat> and as you see, like with the ear, I was able to like make it a little bit more even. Uh, you saw how the blue line was a little uneven. And then there's where the uh, camera messed up on me again. It cut off on me. <laughs> so uh, I finished the line drawing. <clears throat> and now I'm going in with the uh, black marker. I'm using a Copic marker. And here with the Copic, uh, Copics blend very well in with a paint or marker. Um, when I'm looking at this again, I, I could I could have used a brown marker in different areas instead of doing the whole outline in black um, which would have gave me a little variance 
And here I'll switch to the uh, orange. And I did uh, the cape and the M. You know, and then now I'm switching to a fleshy tone. Do the face and the hands. Back to the orange for the uh, centerpiece of the belt and the shoes. And I'm on that yellow color there. And notice how I don't uh, I don't worry about it uh, smearing or much mudding up the picture a little bit because you can always use that as like shadows. So if you touch the line and it you know drag some of that black um, marker out, don't worry about it. You know, just uh, keep building your painting up or your artwork up as you go. And there's a little red in the tongue there. <clears throat> yeah, I think there, uh, one of my copics had uh, dried out on me, so I had to uh, switch back to a uh, different color. So I think I used gray, then I go back with uh, the outline in black that I used. The uh, black that I used, I think, was a 100 Copic marker. Um, and I had a 110, which was like a, a little bit darker uh, to give you like a little different, um, two different tones, but that one was dried up. Here when I'm doing the eyes, I'm leaving a little bit of white there so you get that little glimmer in the eye. And I actually will come back later with some uh, white paint and uh, make it just shine a little bit brighter. Like I said, uh, use uh, the blending of the markers to, to your advantage. Uh, you can create shadows uh, by touching the uh, outline and dragging it in, you know. It muddies up a little bit, but in the end, when you go over with the paint, um, you'll be able to make adjustments as you go. If you're not going to use paint, then you got to be a little bit more um, careful on how much you drag it out. Then you have to go to a blending marker, which uh, they do have blending ones um, to, uh, to reshape some of that. Just filling in the ears here. I think I end up leaving a little bit of white space above the, the top part of that brow coming down. And I go back later and fill in with white paint uh, to uh, give it like a glowing effect on top of his head. <clears throat> So you see it's uh, really coming together now uh, with the uh, markers done. Should be switching over to some paint. Here I have some white, some black, some blue, some uh, red, some yellow, and some pink. And there was uh, just a few small tip brushes, uh, one flat. I think later on I use a fan brush. 
And I'm just going in with some red into the uh, shoes and the, uh, the cape and uh, I think I go into the M and uh, the underwear and the uh, belt. And I won't totally cover all the orange. Uh, I'm just gonna leave some, some red, some some orange, some, you know, to get two different tones, and different uh, effects there. And don't be afraid to uh, experiment, you know, as you're doing this, you know, try different uh, methods of your blending of your colors. And I switch to a smaller brush to get in those little finer areas. Yeah, going over the tongue again as well, bringing out that color. And there's no real method here with where I'm laying it. You know, I'm just laying the red where I think uh, I would like it to go, you know. Uh, but try not to cover all the orange. We'll leave some of that orange in there. Yep. Same thing with the belt and the uh, underwear. Not completely getting rid of all the orange. Now I'm going in with a little yellow in around the uh, red of the M. So the type of paint I'm using is uh, acrylic. Didn't mention that. Um, I like acrylic paints because they're very easy to clean up. Um, you can do oil. Oil is great. Um, but for me, I just like easy clean up. Uh, just soap and water <laughs> gets it off anything. So uh, easy to clean your brushes. Uh, easy to use. Easy to blend. So now I got my yellow. I'm uh, gonna go over all this. Uh, and you'll see it brighten up as uniform. Yeah. Like I said, uh, 
the uh, dark shed, shadow, shed, shadow color you got there uh, from uh, using the marker, you know, uh, it's okay. It just leaves like a kind of like a low shadow, makes it look uh, makes it look neat. So I don't, I don't ever worry about if you make a mistake and drag some of that out. You can really see him starting to pop now. The yellow's uh, bringing him out. And since I left that part of the belt uh, nice and white, it uh, made that one little part just shine a little brighter, um, which helps make the uh, top part of the uniform shine a little brighter and also the, the leg going back now I'm using the uh, pink for the year and then I had to uh, Mix my own fleshy tone to go over the face uh, and the hands. I think for that I used uh, just like a little touch of uh, blue. I used uh, the, some of the pink and the yellow. And uh, with the blue I just like barely dipped it in the blue. Got like a little tip of the uh, brush then I uh, mixed that in with a lot of pink and a lot of yellow to like that like a fleshy tone you can also use a, like the, a little red if you want to make it a little warmer So here I go with the uh, flesh tone. It took me a little bit to get it get it to the right consistency. <laughs> Might have mixed it up a little bit more there. And there we go. So got it to the color I wanted. And I just started going over the areas that I wanted to hit. And again, like, uh, don't be scared to, like, hit uh, different areas um, or hit the lines, you know, because uh, with acrylic, uh, you can uh, easily remove it. <laughs> uh, it's forgiving. Very forgiving. And uh, I'm using a finer brush to get in there, but it's coming out very well. And I just kept working the face there just to get the uh the effect that I was looking for.
Yep, yeah, there I go with some white. So I'm gonna go in and touch in some white where I want it to really, really stand out. The teeth, the uh, the little glimmer in the eyes. And then we'll do like a little highlight on the top of his head. Uh, yeah, and just put it in where I, where I think it should go. So when you am just kind of brighten that little top part up a little bit. And here's where I come back in and fill in the uh the mouth. I think I end up using black paint. Or it was a mixture of black and blue. Yeah, I'm just touching up any areas that I might have covered up and that I didn't want covered. Yeah, I'm touching up the uh, eyebrows there, or in the uh, eyelashes. Yeah, so I'm taking out the fan brush here and uh, go ahead and throw in a little background with some blue and some white. And I'm just uh, going from the edge in just to kind of get like a kind of a cartoony effect. And just do that all the way around. Just sweep it in.
Man, we're just really close to wrapping this up. Uh, it's coming out really well. I'm just going to touch up a few little areas there. So I think that's some yellow there. Going back over a few spots. Yellow, a little white. Yep, so I'm going to back in the eyes with some more white just to kind of make them a little stand out a little more. I think the last thing I need to add in was just this tail, which should be coming up uh, shortly. Um, yeah, I'm still touching up a few little areas. A little highlight on his ears there. But I really like the way it's uh, shaped up. I mean, it came together the way I kind of wanted it to. I um, wanted a little bit more forward leaning, but uh, overall, I've been happy with what I came out with uh, when I got the finished product of my drawing of Mighty Mouse. And here we go. We're going to throw in the tail. This was like the uh, final piece here. Get the tail in there. And most of the drawings, they always do his tail from his uh, bottom back foot or raised foot. So I decided to go uh, a different route with it. Yep, and I switched from some paint to uh, the copy marker there. Got his tail in there. And that's it. All right, this concludes our drawing of Mighty Mouse. I hope you enjoyed painting and drawing Mighty Mouse as much as I did. Uh, 
like I said, Mighty Mouse, uh, I used to watch as a kid and uh, it was really fun to do. Uh, so please uh, post your drawings on Art with Arrow on Facebook. And if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, next week we'll do another drawing and painting, uh, which will be fun as well. Um, I haven't decided a topic. I'm hoping that you guys will join Art with Arrow on Facebook and throw out topics and maybe we'll pick another character that we can do together. Uh, and if you have art tips, please post them. Um, that's what I want this community to be about, uh, just us bettering each other as artists and making great artwork. Thank you for watching. Uh, I like this uh, drawing. I hope you do too.